The Blue Angels represent the best of the best of the Navy. I'm used to doing films that have special effects and you plan these moves and it's cool, but it's not real. What these pilots do, it's real. There are no second chances. It is truly a life and death demonstration. What makes this documentary different than seeing it from the ground is you're not here, you're in it. You're going to be in the cockpit, watching them from behind, chasing them underneath the planes, being upside down. We're right there with them. Stay focused. It's game on time. There was a lot of consideration that went into how to shoot the Blue Angels in ways you've never seen them before. On a project like this, you just don't get a take two. We could never ask them to do a flight demonstration without that being part of their regular practice schedule or demo. They fly when they fly, and we had to figure out how to capture it. Everybody's lives are in each other's hands. The maneuver where these F-18s are 12 inches apart, it's uh, called the Yankee set. You can't even believe how close they are coming together. It's an incredible thing to see, and especially in this IMAX format. There are moments the world will slow down for just a couple seconds. We just come off of Top Gun Maverick and became known for dynamic, high-action jet aerial work. Never in the history of motion picture aviation has a civilian camera helicopter been approved to be inside the Blue Angel demonstration. We were shooting for IMAX, and so the special rig needed to be used to mount the cameras. We used the Sony Venice 2 cameras and high-speed phantom cameras. We came up with this idea. Wouldn't it be really cool to see these jets at 1,000 frames a second? To let people live in that little moment that usually is a flash and let them just experience the awe and power of these machines. I really feel so proud of this documentary because I get to put the real heroes on screen. It's the closest I think any of us will come to being in a cockpit with these pilots. It's just, it's a remarkable thing to see. If we can make audiences feel what it's like to be a Blue Angel, it's gonna be a hell of a ride. First time you take off, you gotta push the I believe button. I fell in love with aviation at four years old. My dad took me to an air show and I got to watch the Blue Angels fly for the very first time. This year we're bringing five new people into this team. Something I never thought was actually gonna happen. It's one in a million. We only have three months to get to a point where we can take it on the road. It can be frustrating at times. The challenge is to get the newbies up to speed. And that can be scary. When you're flying 12 inches apart, everybody's lives are in each other's hands. It's an eye-opener for how inherently dangerous this job is. Ready, roll, hat. Every once in a while, the jets just kind of freeze and the world around you seems to spin. To make six jets fly as one, that's the Blue Angel magic. I just pinched myself, we get a chance to be part of it. With all the